the following situation. At the headland, you have to turn very fast and very exactly to fit the next wayline in order to avoid any unworked uh, area after the headland line. With the new option TI Headland, we help you with an automatic turn and how this is set up and looks like in the practical work, I want to show you now on the tractor. After the settings for the headland width and TI Auto, we can go on with the settings for our turn. First of all, we have to do some more uh, settings for our implement and therefore we call up the implement manager. Here we have to set the whole length of the implement and also the whole width. For example, when we have a seed drill, we also have the harrow in the back. This is very important because in standard conditions, the tractor won't leave the field boundary. We have to set as well the turning radius left and right. In our example, we have a three-point uh, cultivator. So we have the full turning angle left and right. Therefore, turn fully to the right and press the record and also the same for the left side. Let's get back to the settings. Now we have to set the pattern. So we have the well-known U-turn and also the part field mode. And U is K and Y turn. And in these two types, we also have reverse drive included. Then we have to say the start at wayline in this example zero, so the first um, turn, and also the pass width. One means we directly drive into the next line. Next is the first turning direction, so the first turn will be to the right. Down here we have some pro settings. In this case, on boundary two and four, we have a path and so we can extend the boundary in this case uh, by four meters for the implement that it's easier to come around. In the drawing here we see the turning radius it is 5.8 meters this comes directly from the implement manager and the five meter here is the point starting from the headland line when the tractor is able to start the turning. This is very individual on each implement and also on each teach-in sequence. Now we can start calculating and we can see that the system can handle 42 turns and 8 knot. And if we have a closer look then we see that only the 8 ones in the corners are not working and these we have to do manually all the time. So now we can activate the auto function and let's have a look in the practical work how this works. So now we can see that we've already worked a little bit of the field. We see that TI Auto is activated, the, the automatic turn is also active. Next one is to the left and we soon reach the headland. Here comes the headland line and we also see in a second the K turn line. So if we cross the headland line, TI Auto um, is activating the teach in sequence. So it's lifting up the implement and now we are following the K turn line. And the only thing what I have to do is to change the direction now for reversing. That is done manually because of some safety reasons. And after some meter I can change into forward and now we are directly in the next way line which fits perfectly so we do not have any unnecessary overlaps or any missing or unworked area in the beginning. So a perfect match of the way line here and we are ready to go on. So now we've changed to the Y turn as we can see here now, Auto TE is also active and the automatic turn as well. So we are uh, changing here also to the left side. 
Now here is the headland line. When we cross the headland line, TI Auto activates the teach-in sequence and we see the Y turn line. And now we're going back in the field. TE Auto is active now. And we're starting again with working the area. With TI Headland, we have always a perfect timing at the headland line. So there are no unnecessary overlaps or unworked area. Contact your dealer for the latest software update version 4 and for the unlock of TI Hatland.